G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at the Blackmagic Design A10 Mini. On this episode of Will It Work With vMix? The answer to this question won't surprise you. So let's get to it. Does vMix support the Blackmagic Design A10 Mini? Yes. The Blackmagic Design A10 Mini is an external capture device that allows you to connect four HDMI inputs and it also gives you the ability to have one HDMI video output and one USB video output. And the HDMI output is configurable via the ATEM software, so you can choose what you want to send out via the HDMI port, and it's independent of the USB video output. You might be looking at it and thinking, hey, I can get a four input external capture device for a couple of hundred bucks? Where do I sign up? Well, it's not quite that simple if you want to use it in vMix. Although the ATEM Mini has four HDMI inputs, it only has one live output via the USB port, so you can't add each individual camera into your vMix production. You would need to do the switching on the ATEM Mini or via the ATEM controller software, and then use the final output of that in vMix. It's fairly simple to add it into your vMix production though, you're just gonna add it in the camera section and use it like a webcam. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the video from the ATEM Mini is using MJPEG compression, so there will be some additional CPU usage using this device. This is a slight differential when compared to a USB dongle that might be bringing in only one camera input. These are typically using uncompressed video and so you won't see the additional effect on the CPU that the ATEM Mini will have. Another thing is that the ATEM Mini doesn't have a multi-viewer. Although you can use the HDMI output from the device to see preview, program or one of the individual input. So this might be a little bit restrictive for bigger productions as you can't really see what you're switching. Now on the plus side of things, the ATEM Mini has some audio inputs. So it could actually double as an audio interface, which means that you could have your audio inputs and also use it for video capture, which might cut down the amount of equipment that you need for your productions. Now it's not a will it work with the vMix video without actually using the product. That's right, actually using it. So I've connected up the ATEM Mini to our studio PC and I've connected up a couple of HDMI cameras to it. So in order to add the device into vMix, all I need to do is go to add input and then go to camera and then select it from the drop down list here. So Blackmagic Design. Now I've got this set up today for my production as a 5994P production. So it's kind of maxing out what the ATEM Mini is capable of. So I'm gonna add this here. Now as you can see, I've now got this camera right here plugged in and it's now a part of my production. Okay, so now if I want to switch that source, all I need to do is go to the A10 Mini, as you can see here, and then just change it. So as you can see, it's switching between this camera up here and the one that's available down here, the PTZ camera on the desk here. So I'll quickly show you what production I've got set up today. So I have the Ursa Mini plugged into the 8K Pro card. It's a PCI Express card. Then I have the Sony... Z90 up here and the Lumens PTZ camera down here. And these two cameras are being plugged into the uh, ATEM Mini. So that's what I've got for this production, just to show you how you can kind of mix and match um, those. So what I'm gonna do now is also show you a quick clap test to show you the latency. Uh, this is very scientific. I don't want all of these uh, YouTube comments to say it needs to be more scientific. This is as scientific as it gets at vMix. So I'm going to clap. So as you can see here, the latency is actually pretty good. This is a PCI Express card. These are coming in via HDMI into USB and into the PC. So that's a quick uh, non-scientific test for you. I can see the ATEM Mini being a pretty useful piece of kit for a lot of live producers. You could have one in your bag just in case you need to add a HDMI camera to a production, but you're also going to be covered if that turns into a second camera, a third camera, and a desktop capture. How many times has someone said, oh, can you just add another camera to the production or a desktop capture? That's easy, right? So with the ATEM Mini, you could easily add up to four sources. Now you might choose to use the ATEM Mini to switch an entire show and then use vMix for the encoding, streaming, vMix Social, vMix Call, and all the other additional features that vMix does offer. Hey, sometimes it's a black magic design world and we're all just living in it. So thanks for joining us on this episode of Will It Work With vMix or Weeuv? We test a lot of different hardware with vMix to make sure that users get the best experience and we only include equipment on our huge list if it passes our tests. If you want to see what capture devices, cameras and controllers work best with vMix, just head to vMix.com and go to the supported hardware page. 
If you do have any questions about vMix, send us an email via vmix.com on the support page as it's a whole lot easier answering technical questions via email as opposed to YouTube comments. If you do have any questions about the A10 Mini, feel free to send Blackmagic Design an email and ask them questions. I'm sure they'll be glad to hear from you and they're gonna know a lot more about the product than we do. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.